So, okay, Miss Lyra, for our next dessert, what do we have in the pot already? A quarter cup of milk and two and a half cup of sugar. Three quarter cups of milk, two and a half cup of sugar. And so today we're making fudge. Fudge. And this is a traditional recipe? Yes. I'm making, this is kurosawa. One, two tablespoonful. On average, how long does it take you to make um, the fudge? Well, depends. Maybe a uh, quarter of an hour. Okay. Oh, can I ask you how long have you been making fudge? Maybe around 20 years. And where did you learn this recipe from? Self-taught. Okay. So, when you say self-taught, you... Practice. Practice. Yes. Was there a recipe or did you see somebody and you went well, home? Somebody gave me a recipe. Okay. And I practiced on my own. Mm, and how long did it take before you felt like you mastered fudge making? Maybe a year, maybe a month or so. Okay. And currently you sell fudge? I do my stuff, but yes, at the agriculture fair, at the food fair in St. Thomas. Let me get my spoon out of the way. I'm going to switch hands. So now we're doing a teaspoon of almond essence. Just one? Yeah. Okay. And so this is a basic fudge recipe. How much fudge will we get from this? Depends. I mean, I directly how much. Okay. One pan? No, half of a pan. Depends on how big the pan is. Okay. Okay, that's it. So you were saying that you basically sell this at agricultural fair yep. and food fair, yep. which would be kind of in line with what tradition would have because fudge was something of a special occasion dessert. Yep. Don't get it all the time. It smells really good. Okay. So you just That's keep stirring? Yes. Until it's finished. Cannot stop. If I stop, what gonna happen? <laughs> I just it's secure it. Burn. Okay, okay, it's gonna burn. We don't want that. Nope. So this process takes about three quarters of an hour, and you would just be there stirring, oh, stirring, yes. stirring. It's finished. I notice we're in. This is a cast iron pot. Yep. Is can I make? Is this? Is a cast iron pot mm -hmm. a co necessary component, or you think you can make fudge in a? another pot yes you can if you know what to do but strictly I have it for fudge oh so this is a fudge pot and I, yes. I'm asking because I know cast iron pots hold heat oh. differently um, and so I was wondering if the way the pot heats up I know it makes a difference when I make my rice mm -hmm. what I cook it in a regular pot or a cast iron pot so I was just wondering if, if if you have found that to be the case with fudge no okay I just strictly do it in that I do my candy in certain like this part I'll make my fudge. You can do coconut candy in it too. Okay. You know, but like these now, I do like the candy cane and the lasagna, the lasagna and the dunderslender. So uh, the one thing I didn't ask is what temperature is the is this being prepared at? Well, probably three hundred or more than that. I don't really know that much. About three hundred degrees. Yep. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's getting a little thicker. Yes. Now we are going to test to see if our milk fudge is ready to be transferred to the baking sheet. Uh, Miss Lyra, was there any prep necessary for the baking sheet? No, yeah, you have to grease the. I bought it. Yes. So when you pour it in the water, and is it ready? I look I looking at yeah. okay. okay so here we go I'm gonna step out of your way cuz I we're in a kitchen so okay let's switch places you need me to bring the pan over to you so you beat it like you're beating a cake yeah. Cause I noticed your wrist motion change from yeah. turning to more like a fluid. So we're beating it like we're beating a cake. Yeah, to bring it in smooth. 
Making sure there's no lumps? Yep. <laughs> Making sure it'll burn and it come in. It's gonna be thick. Okay. So how do you know when it's ready to be poured it's onto the pan? Stiff. Okay. It's going to be stiffer. Yep. So you turn off the stove, so in a sense, some of the cooling process begins in the pan. Yes. So you want it to get dense. Okay, but not hard. No. This is a good texture for pouring? Yes. Okay. Okay. Your kids in your house used to get to lick the fudge pot <laughs> growing up. Looking forward to your mommy making fudge for sale because I'm excited. Okay, so Miss Lyra, this is the final step. We're here with the final step of our milk fudge. Can you tell me what it is we're going to do? I'm going to cut it. I'm going to mark it. it properly dry so you just said you're gonna mark it before it's properly dried yes so it's important to kind of like make your squares before it's solid yes because you're breaking for pieces so about how much 15 minutes in 15 minutes into it cooling is when you begin to mark it yep and I noticed you're not going all the way down nope because it can it, 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 when it's already marked, it move away from each other very quickly. Okay. Even when it's cold? Yeah. Okay. And so after we mark it, then you only will settle for the remaining 15 minutes? Yes, and then I move it away, separate it. That's done. So, Miss Lyra, can I go ahead and taste the fudge? With our pleasure. Here we go. Okay, so my first taste of fudge, local traditional fudge, and it surprised me because it's really powdery, but at the same time, it like disappears and melts. So that's a different texture from the fudge that I'm accustomed to, but I really, really like it.